Pregame.com. Welcome back to Pregame.tv. We're heading to the SEC. We're going to take a look at Vanderbilt at Tennessee. This is going to be my free pick. Guys, you look at this Vanderbilt team the last two weeks, uh, two big wins if you just look at the scoreboard. But I'm a guy who doesn't look at the scoreboard. I want to dig a little bit deeper into the numbers. And, you know, I think both wins were tainted the last two weeks by uh, Vanderbilt. You go back two weeks ago, they played the Florida team. They absolutely demolished uh, Florida, 34-17. to On the road is a 13-point underdog. But that was the game that Florida was coming immediately off of Georgia. And if you remember, that was the only loss they had during the regular season the year before. So it was a big revenge game for Florida. You know, they were up for that game. They had their opportunity to win that game, lose the game. And really, after that loss, there was nothing left, in my opinion, for Florida to play for this year. You know, they were a one-loss team last year, went to a big bowl, and now with multiple losses this year and the injuries that they've suffered, I just think Florida mailed the game in against uh, Vanderbilt, and they had four turnovers. Four turnovers, but they outgained Vanderbilt two to one in that game. But you know, you turn it over four times to zero turnovers for Vandy, probably coming up on the short end. You want to comment on last week's uh, Vanderbilt game? I thought it was an easy winner. Yeah, <laughs> he had Vanderbilt last week, Ken, and uh, we happened to actually be out at a you know a place on Saturday uh, with another friend of ours, Chris, and. Uh, we're watching the updates on the games. He gave out Vanderbilt to his clients. I actually, on uh, Scott's uh, radio show, first preview, I do a segment, my sandwich shop game. Right. That was my, my sandwich game was taking Kentucky because I had Vanderbilt coming off of the Florida game. So, you know, big high for them. And then they had this game, the rivalry game against Tennessee up next. And they had played, a, you know, a bunch of teams in a row, big name SEC schools. So I thought it was a perfect flat spot. And everything was going well. Nine point game. What was left in the game? Minute. And it's fourth down at the 20 yard line. They throw a pass. They throw a pass. Vanderbilt for a touchdown at the end of the game to get to the cover. Uh, it just was sick. Oh, but only to be sicker later in the day, a game that I actually did bet and give out to my clients. I was on the wrong side of the Georgia Auburn game later in the day, too. Uh, yeah, that's about as sick a loss. You know, when you look at the Georgia Auburn finish, the Northwestern Ohio State finish, there's nothing that's secured mm -hmm. until the game is over. Yeah, it's just knock the ball down. Uh, knock the ball down. It's fourth down. Knock the ball down. Why are you trying to catch it? How do it? you not have five guys like just back on the 20 yard line? Just, just standing there waiting, saying, you got to get a touchdown. Fourth and 18? Come on. It's ridiculous. Before I make this one official, any of you guys want to chime in here? Yeah, I think I've got a feeling who you're going to take. And obviously, <laughs> I don't agree. Uh, I've been on Vandy the last two weeks. I think Vandy's a very good football team. Let me ask you this Vandy, Tennessee, who's the better football team? Probably overall, and if they play 10 times, a Vanderbilt's going to win the majority of the games. I'll probably give them a 6-4 split. And I, and I still think Vandy feels that they're the uh, little brother in this in this rivalry here. I don't think Tennessee is a very good football team. I know they are off of a bye. You go back, I believe the number was 17. Go back the last 17 games played in the SEC, the third most wins in this conference, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's a team going up. Tennessee's a team going down. I'm not sure I'd want to fade Vandy here. All right. Well, we're going to find out if I am. Let's make it official. <laughs> All right, well, Brian Leonard was right. I am going to fade <laughs> Vanderbilt with my play here, and I got to do it. I'll tell you, the last two weeks, yes, they've won, but they've had an 8 to nothing turnover advantage in the last two games. I don't care who you are. you got an 8 nothing turnover advantage. You're going to look better than you are, and that's what Vanderbilt has done. Yes, they're a good ball club, but I also got a Tennessee team that is playing with revenge. It is their uh, senior day. And normally, you're right, Brian, when you say about, you know, Vanderbilt's the little brother and the rivalry means more to them. And I would agree with you absolutely in every other year. But little brother jumped up and smacked big brother in the face last year uh, by a score of 41 to 18. So, Big Brother's a little pissed off, and they're going to show, put, try to put Little Brother back in their place. Vanderbilt is an up-and-coming program, and Tennessee is on the way down. But if you look at what Tennessee has just gone through, 
Georgia, South Carolina, at Alabama, at Missouri, and then at home to Auburn. That was a murderous five game stretch that they had to go through. If there was ever a team that needed a bye week, boy, this is the team. And I think those two weeks to prepare and the revenge from last season is going to be enough to carry this one. If they turn the ball over four times, all bets are off. I can't call that. But if they keep a clean game, I like Tennessee here to get there. I know they're a the small favorite, but I'm going to call it a mild upset. We're going to go ahead and take Tennessee. I got them winning 27 to 20. That's my free pick. Uh, for Saturday in this one. Take Tennessee on Saturday over Vanderbilt. All right, there you have it. We're going to come back. We're shifting gears, guys. We're going to head to the NFL. We're going to go to San Diego at Kansas City. That's up next, pregame.tv.